Hi, you're watching Talk to City Hall, the program where Dayton's mayor and commissioners talk to you about issues and opportunities in Dayton. I'm Brian Talby, and today I'm meeting with Mayor Leitzel in the mayor's office. Well, thanks, Mayor Leitzel, for joining me today. Thanks, Brian, for coming. Thank you. Been a lot of good news about Dayton lately, both economically and uh, in the national press. Uh, we, we've had some things to, to be proud of that have been reported. Can you give us some information about those? Absolutely. You know, uh, recently Dayton's been ranked uh, the number one most affordable city by uh, Forbes magazine, which is great because four years ago they called us a dying city, and uh, I think they've certainly turned around their their position on us. They also ranked the Dayton Dragons pretty highly in an article a couple of days ago uh, as being like a top uh, mid-level uh, baseball league or whatever, minor, minor league. Um, so we're certainly getting some great press. We're also uh, number three in the United States for increasing house prices prices, uh, which is, goes right along with being uh, a most affordable city. Uh, we've added 4,800 jobs uh, in 2011, so we've got an increase in job numbers going on here. Uh, I mean, Dayton's just getting all kinds of uh, national attention. It's one, just one of three Ohio metros adding population since 2010, reversing a declining trend that we've experienced for years. So um, everything I'm reading about Dayton now seems to be, be positive. We're also uh, number two for uh, an arts destination for, for mid-sized cities, which is great because the arts is one of the big economic development drivers in any city is, is having a good art scene, and we certainly have a great art scene here with the, um, the, art, uh, the art institute across the river. We've also got uh, pop-up shops and, and, and an arts district, the Oregon Arts District, uh, where we have uh, local artists uh, displaying their, their art on the walls, and, and some of our coffee shops, too, are displaying local art. So I think it's great. I think uh, we're on the up and up, and Dayton's, uh, it's already a great place to live it's going to be a greater place to live. So warm weather is here and festival season has begun. There's a lot of events, a lot of variety of events to go to around town. Um, are there any that you're looking forward to? Absolutely, you know, with, with the um, Riverscape now being pretty much completed with, with the big awning and everything where people can go and watch bands play, uh, it, it's definitely a, a major entertainment attraction in downtown. And uh, someone told me last year that Dayton seems to be a city of festivals and there's so much going on. Starting on June 23rd, we have uh, the Juneteenth Festival, which we do every year at McIntosh Park. There's also the Southeast Festival. It's a family fun day up in Walnut Hills Park. Then if you want to uh, go and, and enjoy uh, jazz, we have the Women in Jazz Festival on June 24th, the next day, which is a Sunday. Uh, it's probably at Tony Hall Plaza, I believe. Um, and, and it's a free event, and uh, so people can come out to that. Following that, we have City Folk, which is a big event downtown every year where we have stages and, and lots of uh, international type folk music being played and, and uh, various uh, musicians come here from near and far, and that's a great, great event. And then following that on the, um, I'm, uh, the 7th and 8th, Saturday and Sunday, uh, 7th and 8th of July, we actually have the Air Show, the Dayton Air Show, which is a big event here locally and it's been going on for years. And... Uh, and then beyond that, there's more. But I mean, that's just that's just the start up, the, the starting lineup. So if you're wanting something to do in Dayton, there's something happening every day. But those are the festival dates. So please come on into Dayton and and enjoy a, what is a flavor of Dayton. Good. Well, lots to do then, and lots of good news. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's all I'm pretty much reading. You know, I said um, several years back, I, I was tired of reading about Seattle, Portland, and uh, Denver and it's time to read about Dayton and it's starting to happen. We're, we're seeing Dayton more and more in the national media and uh, the national press and people are are looking this way as uh, being an inspiration and a place to a place to raise a family. So I encourage people to keep looking at Dayton because there's great things happening here. As they say locally, it's great in Dayton. Good. All right. Well, thanks Mayor Leitzel for joining me today and thank you for watching Talk to City Hall.